Hey ladies, can I find the camera over here? <laughs> okay, so I am going to do a little tutorial on something that I've been wanting to do for weeks now. And um, so let me show you my what my inspiration was. I had did this tag, let me see, where's the camera? Here we go, um, a while ago and I showed this on, on my video. And um, Paper Cherries, I order her monthly subscription of little goodies and I was using all of her stuff because these beautiful trims came in it, these little epoxies and just a bunch of cute little stuff. So I used them on here and also I used her little um, sequin mix on here. So because I was doing these in just clusters, I was wanting to be able to create the clusters on the side, not actually on the project, so that if I wanted to add a cluster, I could just add it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And my reminder for that was when I was watching Tony. Hey girl, she's Craft Purge here on um, YouTube. Um, I love watching her, she cracks me the hell up. So anyway, she was doing um, sequin clusters and I was like, girl, great minds think alike because that was been on my plate to do. So I'm gonna show you my take on these glitter, uh, glitter sequin clusters. So I'm gonna show you what they are. So there are these right here. So they're just clusters of these super cute mixes that we all have or we have plenty that we can make our own. But these right here are all using the sequin mix that I just received from Paper Cherries. She sends these little tubes every month of a, a mix that she does and I love them. And this month was amazing, so I used all of it. And these are what I made. So for instance, you see how it's just so fun. I mean, seriously, there are probably seven different sequins and sizes in there. So I did that one, this one right here, I used, look at how tall that sits. And look at my nails. <laughs> Let me just tell you how sad I am that I cannot get my nails done <laughs> for a month. So these are coming off and I'm gonna have to start doing them myself again. Not happy about that. <laughs> but I will not have my nails looking crazy. So back to the <laughs> video. Um, yeah, so this is what we're going to do. Super easy. I mean, seriously, anybody can do this. I just figured, you know what, we'll make a quick video. I'm going to make some and we're going to just do it together. So those are the ones that are like heavier and like, you know, more embellished. These ones right here are much flatter. So maybe some of you are like, yeah, you know what, that's just doing too much. And you would prefer them to be flat. So here is a sequin mix where they're just flat and you see that's a unicorn. So this is just it's as flat as it's gonna be one of their sequins, but you'll see here, they're all flat. I went through stages of trying to figure out how to how I was gonna do these where they would be good, but then for instance, is it this one? Okay, this was my first try, right? So you'll see that it's just like, and then it's like it's at the bottom, right? And I had this genius idea to go ahead and I used one of my old baking pans. I turned it upside down. I put globs of glossy accent and then I just stuck a bunch of the sequin mix all on it and I put it in the freezer <laughs> thinking <laughs> that if I froze it and I took it out that it would just be able to pop off, right? Well, mm, this was a true testimony that glossy accents doesn't play and it was not letting go. <laughs> so I was only able to save a couple of them and um, because it wouldn't come off and it, you know, and it didn't destroy my pan, thank goodness. I just had to soak it under hot water. But see, I was hoping for something like this kind of sort of, but uh, I just don't love it. So then, you know, just playing around and you'll see that it's just a punch. Oops. And then this is a flat one. So if you didn't want it to be too heavy, like these ones where they're super dimensional, totally up my alley then you can do flatter ones. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do them together. And the reason why too, is if you wanted to use them as flower centers. So see, this one is sitting as a flower center. So I thought that would be cute. Whatever your heart desires, right? So you need your tweezers, half inch punch, this amazing stuff right here, and that's it. And then, you know, your punches. So I just grabbed some um, glitter. Uh, I had a little piece left. So I was like, all right, let's go ahead and use that. When it really doesn't matter though, because let me show you really quick. So for instance, I want you to see the difference when you use different papers. So this right here is the glitter. 
you can barely see at the very edges that that's what it is. It is pretty. I'm not going to say it's not. It's really cute. But then let's say, like for instance, this one, I did purple. So it'll show up a little purple on the edges. Totally not bad. And then this one right here, I did in pink, which apparently you can just never go wrong. And then it looks like that. So it's up to you, the look you're going for. I just grabbed scrap pieces of paper and went on about my business. So let's go ahead and have this so it's not like right in the middle. And then we're gonna put a glob. No, maybe we're not because it dried out. You know what, I swear I poked a hole in this darn thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and try that again. So we're gonna do this here. And I don't do too big of a glob, just about that much for now. And then here is my mix. Is that not the yummiest mix ever? I put a ton of different <laughs> sequins, little tiny ones, and that's all I do. I literally just, you know, just swoop it under here and then I will get it. And then I will just kind of like put everything back in the circle because sometimes it'll hang off the edge and then so far this is how it looks so you could totally stop right here and that's super cute but you know what I'm not gonna do that because I want just a little bit more and because glossy accents is clear all of the colors even if I put it on top it's still gonna show and still be super cute so I'm not worried about it and we can put it at the very edge if you don't want to show um, the punch completely up to you and then we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna swift it under there a little bit, okay? So then I'm not gonna turn it upside down because if you turn it upside down, what's gonna happen is it's still, you know, it's still very liquidy. So a chunk of it might fall back off. So all I do is I just try to push everything in the center and I leave it like this. Now, for instance, it's sticking up a little bit right there. This is my time to go ahead and flatten it if I don't want that sequence to stand up like that, just lightly. And um, there probably are loose ones on here, but I'm not gonna shake it off. I'll wait until it dries, and then I will go ahead and um, tip it upside down for anything that's loose that did not have glue. But look at how pretty that is. And then it's just ready to go. So I absolutely love it. And I thought that it would be fun to do it because I know I am not the only one that has a butt ton of these sequins. So let's go ahead and let's do another one. Why not? So I figured, you know what? It'd be cool if we did videos of just little stuff. They don't have to be major projects, you know? And just come on here and then share it with each other. Since we're all on lockdown, I would prefer to do this than watch a bunch of TV shows and movies, you know? I like to feel crafty all the time. So here we go. That's just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and add some more of this and then we're gonna take it under. And then, you know, just like do little videos for each other and we watch it and then, you know, we just do some more, you know, just little videos. They don't have to be major, you know, quick five minute little craft with me tutorial, whatever. And that's, you know, I just thought it would be fun to do stuff like that. Cause I totally do. I sit down as soon as I log out of work and I'm like, I need to be inspired. So look at how fun that is. Oh my gosh, the color combo is killing me softly right now. So fun. So I just let them sit on the side and Glossy Accents is pretty good about drawing. It doesn't take too long. So it's about a good 20 minutes. And, and they're so fast to do, you know what I'm saying? Perfect, super duper cute. Well, what the hell, let's just do another one and then I'll shut up and then I'll let you guys go. <laughs> so go ahead and take this amazing I love it. I forgot I even had these super small um, glitters or um, sequins, whatever you want to call them. Totally forgot. And I have a huge 12 by 12 bucket of a bunch of sequins, all sizes, all colors, gifted, purchased, you name it. And um, I'm just like, like kind of dabbing different places that I saw towards the edges. So we just get it here. 
and then we'll just do that. And you see how it's all to one side, almost right onto the um, tweezers. We're just gonna scoot that over okay. and do it over. There we go. Oh, I, I'm so in love right now. I need to stop right now. Stop it. All right. And then just flatten it out a little bit. And bam, all done. Look at how fun that is, ladies. So I hope you guys will give this a try and let me know, you know, what you create. Or maybe you guys take a different spin on what I just did and think of something else. I would totally love to see. So you guys have an amazing and super blessed day in quarantine, keeping you and your family safe. And um, I will be back and I will definitely be stalking everybody's channels like I do. And that's it. We'll see what I come up with later on in the week. All right, ladies. Bye.